Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, I wanna tell you something about yourself that you may have never thought of before, and that's the fact that you are a walking paradox. You're like, what? Come on, Fusco. No, you're a walking paradox. Here's why. The Bible says two things are absolutely true about every single one of us. First, that we were created in the image and likeness of God. What that means is that we were fearfully and wonderfully made. That each one, each human being, no matter what their story is, is an image bearer of God. That is powerful. That's amazing. But at the same time as we are something so amazing as image bearers of God, another thing that's true about every single one of us is that we are fatally and humanly flawed. Now, what I mean by that is the wages of sin is death. Though because we're flawed, death happens. But all humans are like this, except for Jesus. And if you think about, man, how amazing, we're image bearers of God. Man, I mean, what, what amazing reality that each human being is. But then at the same time, we're fatally flawed. We're all jacked up. We're messed up. We're screwed up. We get things wrong. Even when we try and do things right, sometimes we get them wrong. And that's why I say that you're a walking paradox. Each one of us has within us an amazing capacity to do the most beautiful things and the most horrendous things. Now, one of the things that I love so much about Jesus, as opposed to the cancel culture in which we live, is that Jesus doesn't write us off because we're flawed. Actually, the whole gospel, the good news of Jesus, is that God knows that we're fatally flawed, but he loves us too much to keep us that way. So Jesus leaves heaven's glory, come down to earth, lives perfectly before the Father, receives the death that we deserve in our place, and is willing to give everlasting life to whoever would believe in him. So even though we are walking paradoxes, God's plan of redemption embraces the totality of who we are, and the cross fixes everything. Isn't that good news? Can I get an amen, a hallelujah? Man, we're having church up here on this video. So that's what I do. I want you to share this video because I want everyone to know, like, this is who we are. We, we're capable of amazing things and treacherous things at the same time. And in the comments section, I want you to share how amazing Jesus has been to you. Tell a little testimony, share a little bit about why Jesus being real and Jesus being your Lord and Savior gets you so excited every single day. And God bless you today.